You know, there are certain widely held beliefs in the media that if you challenge them, you're essentially an idiot or worse. If you're for tax cuts, you're, you're selfish. Think the war on terror has had its good points, you're clueless. Question global warming, you are witless. And dare question the virtues of national health care, you're heartless. It is on that final point that liberals have launched their most pointed attack in the case of the New York Times, Paul Krugman, on me. And a segment on this show when we link England's cookie cutter health care for all with the hiring of nefarious doctors whose intentions we've now come to know might not always be honorable. Krugman called it a scare tactic. Yet when I invited him on this very show to explain that today, he was the one apparently scared to discuss it. He declined. What he didn't decline to do is offer the same old tired tripe we hear from those who dare question these views. He says, and I quote, the health care issue is most of all about morality, as if I'm immoral questioning his view of health care. Here is what is immoral, Paul, defining everything that is wrong with health care, not by the vast majorities who get it in this country, but the minority who do not, junking a system that provides the best medical care on the planet for most Americans in favor of a clumsy federal system that will most assuredly compromise care for all Americans. What's immoral is emulating a Canadian system of care that leaves desperately ill patients waiting for months for a simple CAT scan or MRI. What's immoral is they die. What's immoral is omitting the fact the French system of nationalized care comes at a huge price. Tax rates up to double our own for a service that doesn't compare to our own. You call it crass to bring up these issues. I call it crass not to. Paul, you might be surprised just how intimately familiar I am with health care in this country. You might be surprised what I've witnessed in doctors' waiting rooms in this country. Lots of folks in those rooms, not even from this country, many who enjoy subsidized care back in their their country, but they're here because they're desperate, and some, Paul, are dying, dying for the quality of care only we provide. God forbid you are ever in need of such urgent care, Paul, and the doctor tells you that you can get your life or death surgery here or in Havana. Where will you choose? I know the answer, Paul, and something tells me you do too. But you are always invited on this show to give us your view. A privilege you did not give me.